Okay, I'll come back. So today's topic is function composition. You already learned the notation for a function now. Just to remember that was like f of x. And it could be any letter. So it could be f of x, g of x, anything like that. It just represents y equals exactly the same thing. But remember how I told you we're going to be switching over. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Now, function composition is a little bit different. So first, to explain it to you, let's start off with putting two equations. Let's do that. And then we're going to call the other one g of x so we can know that they're different. And we're going to say 2x plus 3. Okay, so you have two functions. Now, function composition simply means I'm going to compose one function with something else. So meaning... I can maybe put something into this function, maybe a number, like a 1 into the x, or like a 2 or like in, into the x. And then whatever I get, I will put it into that x, and then I will get another answer. So that's basically what composition means. We're putting one thing in one function, and then putting it into another function. All right, let me erase. Of course, everything erased. Let's just erase it. Okay. So... Let me write that again so we can continue with that same example. So now let's actually do it. So if that was just me talking. Now let's actually do it. So let's try to see if we can maybe evaluate the following. So this is where the composition comes in. Okay, so let's say I tell you, let's evaluate f of g of 1. That's what we're going to evaluate. And just remember how it's pronounced. So it's f of, the parentheses, think of it as an of, g of 1. Okay, so that just means I'm first going to plug in. Let's kind of focus as to like what's happening here. It says, first let me plug in that 1 into the g, and then plug it into f. So let's start off with that part. So let's start maybe thinking about it in separate portions. Like, what is g of 1? Because that's what they want us to put into f later. So g of 1 would be, I just have to put in 1 into every x for my g of x function. So that would be 2 times my 1 plus 3. So that gives me 5. So now you can even replace it just to make things a little bit more simple. You know that g of 1 is 5. So instead of g of 1, I'm going to put 5. So now I have f of 5 that I have to evaluate. Now that, that means that I have to plug in the 5 into the f of x function. So that would be 5 squared minus 5 which would give me 20. Okay. And so then just to complete everything and to just to say this is my final answer, f of g of 1 equals 220. Now it was multiple steps to getting there, but we got there. Okay. Awesome. So that's one example. Okay. So let's see another example now. You could plugging numbers into one equation and then plug that into the other equation totally but you can also do something else you can plug in a whole equation rather than just a number so this is where a little notation needs to come into play so you guys can know what that means so let's put maybe with red let's put notation for for function composition. And I probably should have done this one sooner actually because the first exam would probably shock you as to why I wrote it that way. Okay, so two ways to write it. You have your first function embedded with another function inside of it. Or Another way to write it, now they mean exactly the same thing. Oh, and this is pronounced, let's say f, I don't know how to spell f, I would say f of, this is your parentheses, g, 
This is how you're pronouncing. Remember this. this is, I'm just writing it for you to know how to pronounce it. Of, remember the parentheses, X. So that's how you pronounce this. F of G of X. Now, the second part, well, another way to write it. You pronounce it exactly the same way, but you kind of put this dot combining both of them, and then you put the X outside of it. This is the one that you see in a lot of tests. Sometimes in state tests, they'll put that one more than the top one, even though I like the top one instead of the second one. So we will switch them back and forth between those. Um, this means the same thing. The same thing as this one. Okay? All right, so let's start off with our first example. So let's say, let me put a little line here so I can know this is an, this is an actual example. Okay, so this example, let's stick with the same functions that we started with. So we have x squared minus 5, g of x equals 2x plus 3. Okay, so let's say I give you and I tell you, Evaluate the following. Okay, so let's say I tell you to do, and I'm going to write it with the notation I don't normally like, just so we can get used to seeing. So, what I like to do is, I like to change from this notation to the notation number one just because it looks nicer and you can see exactly what you have to do. So I'm going to change that right now. And I'm going to say, okay, this is exactly the same thing as saying g of f of x. It follows the same order if you notice. g is first, then is the f, and then is the x. Okay, so this means I'm going to plug in my whole function of f of x into g. Now, the same way that we did the previous one with numbers, maybe we can even substitute f of x with the actual function. So that would be, let me keep it with red, g and f of x, you know what f of x is. They gave you that f of x was x squared minus 5. So that means I'm plugging that into every x that I see from g. So I'm going to go to g, to the function of g, which is 2. Now I'm putting this into every x, so I'm going to put a parenthesis here, plus 3. And where the x is, now it's going to be this function of f of x. Okay? Now the last step is to simplify everything. So let's do that now. If I simplify everything, I end up with 2x squared, just distribute this 2, minus 10 plus 3, and let's keep simplifying. So then I get 2x squared minus 7. And that's my final answer. Now, I know it looks kind of messy there, so I'm going to just write at the top and say my final answer is I'm going to rewrite the whole notation. This just looks a lot more neat. Minus 7. And then I'm done. I got the composition of those two functions. Okay?